Hello and welcome back to Path of Exile Necropolis League. This is episode 9 in the Endgame series explained in detail for new players. And this is definitely dedicated to new players. Um, although even some uh, players that have been playing a long time have uh, learned a few things, um, which is really cool. So let's uh, get into it. Today, it's, I hope to make it a little bit of a shorter uh, video, and we're going to be doing uh, tips on a few more tips on PoE Awakened, Awakened trade, <laughs> with two Ds, and um, how to capture path Pantheon bosses and why it's important. And that should be tied to your Y key. That'll open up your Pantheon, which was the um, along the campaign when you fought um, different things, and then Sin would appear, and he'd give you the access to your Pantheon. So we'll explain why that's important and actually how to capture those bosses. So let's do that now, and we're going to do a recap quickly. So there'll be um, chapters at the bottom. You can skip this recap if you would like. Ooh, we got a nice one here. We just made five divines. Let's do it. And these are um, from Bulk Cell. Where is it? He wants all of these. Well, five divine for those. I'll take it. And... Oh, somebody else wants them. I guess I, I priced them a little too low. Trade. And... There we go. But I'm, I'm happy with that. I need some divines. And then I'm going to whisper the polite thing to do. Oh. <laughs> Is... Let's see if this will work. Thank you. And then I exit the party. And then I'm going to whisper him back. So when you do trades... Uh, sorry to get off tangent. Uh, off topic here. Uh... Sold. Just sold. Um, when you do trades, if they're buying from you, they're going to come to your hideout. If you're buying from them, you want to go to their hideout. And then, um, like, you can you can do a go to their hideout a few ways, but you can right-click. You could visit their hideout. You can trade with them right through here. You can press, press the little circle and go to their hideout sometimes that way as well. You can right-click on their portrait, and this drop-down menu appears. Stuff like that. So let's recap. And I was saying um, the chapters will be at the bottom. You can just skip over this, and I'll be brief as possible. I'll try. You can always pause and read these if you want to go back and see if uh, certain episodes contain things that you want to learn about. Map devices, cure quests, um, spending your first atlas points. The next episode, which will be out later today, will have um, the things on explaining what to do with the rest. Uh, some more of your atlas points. There's been a lot of things in between here. Chaos Recipe, how to get uh, bulk sell selling done. Uh, what else did we cover? Uh, item filters and all that. POE Awaken Trade and how to download it and where to get it. How to do it, all that kind of stuff. Earning your first divine. We just made a few more, five divine there. Buying and upgrading gear. It's a constant thing you're going to be doing and looking for gear upgrades and everything. It's great. Crafting your first permanent movement speed flasks and other flasks. and um, And then this one. And also, also I want to um, reiterate, just real, be really careful if you're rolling these flasks. Don't try to stack like the 17% attack speed. Don't try to do attack speed all the way across. It'll overwrite itself and you, it'll only be, you only get the um, advantage of one of those suffixes. If I hold down alt, it'll show the suffix. Just make sure you don't like try to, I've done it before, um, probably a year ago or so. Um, I was stacking them up. I was like, oh, I'm going to put uh, probably <laughs> longer than I was probably doing it for quite a while. And then, you know, I'd stack up all crit or all attack speed. And, you know, I never checked the actual thing to see if it actually worked, but it doesn't. It just takes the highest one or maybe the last one that gets activated and overwrites it. So you can't stack it that way. I think they should allow it. It'd be fun. Okay, let's go over a couple of the PoE Awakened Trade the app, the tips on that. So I've changed it from um, the settings. I, I make it so, uh, so that I can pl press control space to bring this thing up. And then also um, I've changed the price check thing to F1 and the item info to shift F1. So let's uh, cancel out of here and you can change it to anything you want. And let's try um, shift F1 on this item. Let's pretend this whole thing was full of stuff and they all look the same, but you wanted to find this particular item in there. So I hover over it. I press shift F1 
and I say find in stash. All it does is type that in, in there for me and highlight it. I wish it would highlight it maybe with a green outline or something, but this is okay. And then it just finds it for you. Cool. That's one thing. Let's try Shift F1 again, and you could open it up in the wiki page, and it will bring you to not the fandom site, which is out of date and old, but the um, official wiki page for PoE. So that's really cool as well. And then, of course, let's say you want to just do regular price checks. So you could do... Um, you could price check that as unidentified, but let's identify it and do a quick price price check. And I'll even roll this. Multiplier damage, that might be good. I'm not sure. Let's say you're new to the game and this is for you. You're new to the game. Let's do a price check on just this jewel, just like that. Let's find out. Search. Four chaos, maybe. So you could probably sell this for one or two chaos and people wouldn't mind maybe they'll buy it now the thing is it also has an item level of 85 so i found that maybe deeper in the delve or maybe um in a tier 16 map not sure where i found this but i found a, a bunch of these oh, let's take this back out and i'm going to go control shift and i've got those affinities turned on so it put it in my fragment map right there okay so let's uh, go back to this and Let's roll this real quick and see what happens. See if we can get a, a, a neat uh, result here. Okay, cold and lightning. I don't care about that one. Don't care about that one. Global physical damage. Interesting. And it's a perfect roll of a 16. Let's check just that one. If we just get that, there might be some buyers just for that that want to risk, risk something. Nope. So we're going to augment it. And let's see what we get. So if we can get something good on here. Oh, that's not good. So I'm going to keep rolling and I'll be right back. Okay, at this point I found one. It's not it's not very good, but it might sell for a, a four, maybe three or four chaos. Not not really worth the time to do it on this one. But there's a chance that it might, you know, it might sell for four. These guys might not be selling. But let's say somebody for some reason was using axe and projectiles and they like that. But I want to take a risk right here. Let's see if we can corrupt it and get a third thing on there, an implicit. Let's see. Come on, it might brick it. Oh, we got something. So now we've got a, a slightly special, better thing here. Now it'll reduce the poison duration on them. That and that. And these are usually worse to used with adorned jewels. So let's see what this comes up. Let's see if anybody even has this. Nobody's selling it. So let's say just the attack speed with this on there. And there's a few. We're just going to sell this for 10 chaos. Somebody might buy it. No big deal or 5 chaos, but you could get something worth multiple divines, which is really, you know, you'll learn more and more about how to roll those or how to roll uh, uh, flasks and stuff like that and get a lot of things. So let's get into the next uh, uh, next thing, and that's Pantheon and Pantheon bo bosses. Let's do that. Normally, if you press Y in the game, just make sure you go to your um, controller and uh, your options and on inputs and find out which it, which ones it's tied to. I think it defaults to pressing Y, brings up these pantheons. And um, I think it's ruthless so you don't get these, but in this mode you do. <laughs> and you're gonna have a minor God and a major God. And you're gonna be able to pick these and just make sure it's highlighted because, um, let's do this and be right back. That was nice, 20 chaos. And just make sure it's highlighted because when it first comes up, it looks like it's highlighted, but it doesn't have those little pokey things around there. So you really have to actually, you know, click it the first time you get them from your Pantheon bosses. So you're going to be able to pick one of these, and you can change these in town to whatever you want. Some people change them for specific um, types of fights they do. And then you're going to pick, I usually just pick one and forget about it. Um, it's probably not the most efficient, but let's read this. It says... Life lasts gain three charges every three seconds if I haven't used one for a while. So I only use one life flask. And let's say I'm in trouble and I'm doing a, a trial or something. Well, I can just kind of sit still for 10 seconds and get a few charges back. And I've used up all my flasks and I can't get another one. Well, I can just sit there and get them back. But also the, the cool thing, it does the 60% increased life recovery from flask when used low on life. And this is a panic flask, and I, I think we should probably go over those if I haven't. Um, I can't remember all the things we went over, so I'll double check. Um, this will heal me for about 4,000 health. 
um, I rolled it and got to that point, or I bought it. And it'll also make me immune to poisons if I'm poisoned when I use it. Neat. But that helps me there. But we're talking about capturing the Pantheon bosses. For instance, if I go up here, um, see that grayed out line? It says Capture Captain Claiborne. Well, I've already captured um, Murgeth bog song and how would i even find out where those guys are for instance um i wanted to capture it that fell okay to avoid projectile I, I can now avoid projectiles that have chained which can be pretty important sometimes so let's go over to our um map device we're going to look at this and we're going to say search um it that fell and it highlights all the possible places and not only oh and it's it's going like that. Look at that. It says underground river, underground boff, boss, and it should say kill the boss. Oh, I think I already, it's not showing up that way. One second. <laughs> I've already captured them. So um, see how it says Nasser Lion of the Seas can be captured. I've already captured them. Otherwise it would say that it that fell, that boss can be um, captured in this map. So you'd run it with this next item, this vessel, the divine vessel that we had, and I'll show you how to do that. So let's say we want to we want to find out how to let's bring that up. We want to find out how to capture uh, Claiborne. So let's see if I can find Claiborne on here. So I don't know where he is. I think I know now. I think he's in the um, frozen cabins, and it says Captain Claiborne, the curse can be captured for the soul of Lonaris. So. The neat thing is, I don't have to run this map rare or super difficult. I can run it even, I believe you can even run it just as a normal map, white map instead of magic. But I'm cool with that. But you need these divine vessels. So how do we get those? Well, we can do two things. We can find out um, the wiki page and just read about them and click the wiki. It brings it up and we can read about them. These are dropped anywhere. I've found probably seven or eight of them, maybe more, maybe ten of them. You can also buy them other play from other players. Let's see how much they're selling for. And we'll click it over to Chaos. And it looks like three, maybe four Chaos per. You know, this might go for two, but, you know, they might. these will sell really quickly. Um, and then 12 for four. So you could buy it. For, if you have 12 Chaos, just go ahead and buy four of them. You're most likely going to be, you know, trying to capture a few bosses. And this is how you capture them. We're going to walk up here. Uh, we're going to put this in there. We're going to put that in there and that's it. And it's going to fire it up and we're going to go, we're going to go find the boss in this place and, uh, take care of him. Uh, I, uh, I'm cool with anything here. doesn't matter. And away we go. Nice. And the very first drop that I think it's worth four or five chaos, this orb of annulment, um, <laughs> risky item to use, but it removes one random uh, modifier. Um, but now we could sell that for four chaos and probably in bulk, you could probably sell them for a lot more, but we just made up the cost of the, the vessel just like that. Pretty cool. And we found another item. Let's go ahead and identify that real quick. And we'll even, uh, that's not going to be worth anything. Price knockback, dual wielding. There's no way, not even worth the chaos, right? Nope. Somebody's selling one, but it's just sitting there for five days. Cool. We just found another one, and let's price check that one. This one might be worth a little more, maybe 5 or 10 chaos? I don't know. Yeah, I think we could probably get 10 chaos out of that. Nice. Let's say you're into a map pretty far. Um, just go ahead and drop down another portal to uh, move the, you know, move the portal from here. Now we're up here. It's nice to have it a little closer just in case things uh, turn out badly. <laughs> And there's a, you know, in the this league, they added a, a key that you can just key bind the portals, just instantly drop them. So I use a ton of portals now. It's fun. Turns out. And, oh, it's not a problem, right? Let's see if we can go even faster. Oh, bad. <laughs> I did not read any of the things. I just slapped down every explosive and opened up everything. So I might have buffed it a little bit too much. But we'll just drop another uh, portal down and have some fun. Let's see how bad it gets. Oh boy. Oh. And. Oh, not bad. I think, was it a meteor that hit me? Something hit me. Maybe the purple stuff? Who knows? Maybe it was a meteor. Something bad. 
Okay, so now here's the boss. I'll even put a, another portal down right here. Let's jump in and see what we can do with him. And, oh, it's right over here. So we're going to capture the boss. Let's focus on that. <laughs> but I have a good time. There's a... Oh, ooh, look, he almost got me again. I shouldn't be this squishy. Oh, well. Ooh, we got a couple of things here. Ooh, in that. Now, even these things, we can price check them. It looks like the belt. Something came up that as worthwhile was it not that one i don't know maybe this one i could look into the price on that cool but we got those and now we got the um boss thing so let's go grab that and we're going to capture it so we're going to press y again Oop, y again see how it's not there and now if we take this and right click it should have added it now we've captured every boss for these two pan pantheon things and i hope that helps you out i'm gonna go over some of this gear maybe we got something good this one that said it was good let's check price check on wind win eh, i don't know i don't think so but um i hope this helps um and we'll do more episodes and keep on uh going over uh more and more things i know i intended to make this a short episode but i get carried away and i talk to i talk too much but i have a good time at it i hope this helps and enjoy i've got a lot more episodes to come out i really like this game and i have a good time with it and i hope you do too have a good one